Hello avid royal followers, welcome back to the channel. With Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's latest projects upholding all the values of the royal family as well as their recent gift exchange with William and Kate seemingly extending an olive branch, all signs have been pointing towards a royal reconciliation. However, insiders have revealed that the youngest prince has no intention of reuniting with the heir. Since Harry and Will have ceased fire for the time being during what has become quite a volatile brotherly feud, royal commentators have been hopeful that the two princes can put the past completely behind them. Royal author Amit Scobie spoke to CNN's Max Foster about the current state of Harry and Will's relationship. Personal relationships have definitely improved. There is a warmth there that wasn't there before. Scobie went on to draw similarities between Meghan and Harry's recent non-profit ventures, claiming that their social impact upholds the values of the royal family. As a result, the commentator expressed how simple it would be for the rogue royals to fit right back into royal life if they so desired, though he remained doubtful of Harry and Meghan's willingness to return to the royal roots. It would always be easy for them to slot back into the royal engagement, Scobie said, but I think that's very unlikely. They are looking forward rather than back. Certainly, although royally valued in their conquests, Harry and Meghan are putting their own spin on their independent projects. Just last week, it was announced that the couple have signed a multi-year contract with Spotify to create exclusive audio programming under their newly formed Outro Audio Production Company. What we love about podcasting is that it reminds all of us to take a moment and to really listen, to connect to one another without distraction, Harry and Meghan wrote in a joint statement. The news that Harry and Meghan are putting their royal hats into the podcasting rings comes not long after reports of a Duke and Duchess's estimated 200 million US dollar deal with other streaming giant Netflix. While it has been unconfirmed exactly what sort of visual content the couple will have up their sleeve, the company's co-founder Reed Hastings has admitted that the platform is going to do a wide range of entertainment with them. I can't tell you any more than that about it at this point. But I think it will be some sort of the, some of the most exciting, the most viewed content next year, Hastings revealed during an appearance on CNBC. Although royal experts are adamant that things have never been better between the princes, it appears the opportunity for a brotherly reunion will go to waste as Harry and Meghan continue to forge their own path. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video.